which are available online. Board, we have been provided by administration to speakers tonight. And the first one is coming from Mr. Damon Barone on items, agenda items three, four, five, six, three, and nine, two. Greetings, Damon Barone, A. Lee Fies, the parent, taxpayer, and alumnus. During the March 22nd, 2022 school board meeting, this board voted to shorten commu the community's time to speak during patron presentations from five minutes to three minutes. Since then, you all have continued to spend more time discussing, presenting, and commenting in great detail on items that have nothing to do with student outcomes. Please put items that are not related to the student outcomes on the consent agenda, such as the donation reports, the board recognitions, and the hiring of administrators. You all do not recognize teachers, custodians, bus drivers, or mechanics and their family members when you hire them, so why is this being done only for administrators? The board also stops during board meetings to take multiple pictures, then you all take an additional five to 10, minutes, 10 minute break to take more pictures and have a conversation. The board scheduled all of the special call meetings for the superintendent search for 4 p.m. and 5 p.m. So please take pictures, shake hands, and have personal conversations with the recognized individuals between 4 p.m. and 6.29 p.m. before the 6.30 p.m. board meetings. Board members routinely state that you all do not have questions or comments after district administrators publicly present. If the board members do not have questions because you all are discussing, emailing, or communicating your questions or concerns privately, then those communications should also be shared with the public. Please develop a process where parents, community members, and staff can express questions and concerns regarding the district's presentations and receive a response for those questions. An example of my concerns is that for multiple years, Assistant Superintendent of Human Resources, Dr. Elizabeth Velos Powell stated that many employees do not fill out the exit survey information when they leave the district. Yet when the information was presented to the board during the September 20th, 2022 board meeting, allegedly 29.5% of the staff retired. 29.5% of what number? The three people who filled out the survey or 29.5% of the 390 teachers who quit according to the source forecast slide? Those percentages paint a different picture when the numerator and the denominator are provided. Not to mention each resigning employee is also allowed to select multiple options within the exit survey, which further skews the percentage points. In unit 13 of the district's third grade math pacing guide, our kids are taught about numerators and denominators of fractions and what those parts and holes represent. Yet somehow each year in each school board meeting, this board allows, allows highly qualified staff to present data of percentages with no numerator or denominator attached to it. District leadership should be held to a higher standard than our third grade teacher, third grade students. Damon Barone, A. Lee Fies, the parent, taxpayer, and alumnus. And allegedly the reason why the patient presentation was cut down from five minutes to three minutes was because you all wanted to expedite the meetings. But since then, that has been the only change that y'all have made to expedite the meetings. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Barone, for your comments. We will now have Mr. Ron, Ronald Cox 